And this week's bass tip, we're going to talk about articulation, which is how you play the bass guitar. Now, in the beginning, when we're learning, um, we have a bunch of questions about what's the best way to play? Should we play finger style? Should we play with a pick? Should we tap? Should we slap? Um, and those are all good questions, and very often they're answered by more experienced musicians uh, like this. Well, you should do what feels best, and you should do what's best for the song and best for the music. And that's very true. Um, and the problem in that is that it's kind of difficult to approach that methodically besides listening and besides playing. And experience is basically the key. Tapping into that sort of... Um, difficult to define quality that comes with experience and listening. Um, a way that I can, I've sort of discovered about uh, attacking this issue of how to play, how to articulate, uh, whether you play notes soft or loud, which notes to accent, which notes to play uh, short or long, is by a uh, way of this sort of um, unconventional source, I'll say. And I got this idea from a book uh, called Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, which has very little to do with Zen or motorcycle maintenance. Um, and the idea is this. Um, take something very small. It doesn't matter anything around you. And try and find a very small, mundane, utterly, to your mind, unimportant aspect of that thing. So I'm going to... Um, okay, here we go. Get this pen right here. And I'm going to focus in on uh, the word BIC. All right, you see that? And now I'm just going to start talking about the word BIC. All right, so what can we say about this? Um, it's in this sort of rhombus sort of thing. Um, the I is uh, lowercase, will it be in the C or uppercase? It looks like there's this little man right here. Uh, it's on a cylinder um, on this pen. There's sort of this lens glare, which is kind of annoying me right now, but, you know, it it's on the upper side of the rhombus. Um, and if I turn it like this, the lens glare goes in and out. Um, this little guy right here appears to have like this little spear through him. And anyway, I could keep going on and on and on, just random details about that BIC. And the point there is that I turned off this, the thing in the back of my brain that says, no, that detail is unimportant. No, that's, that's dumb. You don't need that. Uh, that's irrelevant. The goal here while you're practicing articulation and practicing different ways of playing notes is to turn off that idea in the back of their head that no, that's not, that's not right. No, that doesn't feel good. No, that doesn't sound good. You're literally just trying to figure out different ways of doing this. And this is a very almost childlike way of doing it. And the only way that you can really tap into that is by focusing on something really small, something really simple, something so uh, irrelevant in your in your mind, so mundane, that it elicits that sort of flood of ideas, flood of ideas and that uh, could go on and on forever. So, what could we do? Well, on bass, let's take these three notes, G, B flat, and C. How many different ways can we play them? Let's slap them. Let's slap them and actually hit the string. Okay, cool. I played slap them, but I played them all short. I'm going to slap them and play them long. Okay, now I'm going to slap them, but play the first one short and the second two long. Okay, maybe I'm going to play them finger style, first short, second too long. I'm going to now play them all short. Let's come up with some other ways of playing them. literally keep going on and on and on and on with just every different possible way I could think of. And none of them are wrong, and it doesn't matter. The idea, though, is that you're trying to come up with as many different ideas, many different ways of physically playing those three notes. And none of them are going to be wrong at this stage. And this is, in my opinion, the best way of practicing articulation, because it gets you thinking at the core of it. What is the way, or how are you playing these notes? And only later should you uh, apply those value judgments. Only later should you be thinking, does it feel good? But not in the beginning, not in the beginning. 